Hey guys, uh, this is a heads up as you can read it. See it there, it says this is a heads up. If you live on planet Earth, you obviously have heard recently about tariffs and possible trade wars. All right? Everybody's tried to explain what a tariff is and they all think that they're a wordsmith. They like to use fancy words that us uh, down-to-earth people can't grasp. See the picture there? On the right, ship from China. On the left, ship from the USA. All right? You see what it says below the water? Nobody wins. Just trying to set this up, all right? Let me go down here now. I use Walmart as an example because they everything they impo everything they sell is from China and other countries, but they got to be one of China's biggest customers. Let me start here to try to explain it. Walmart orders a hundred dollar item from China. They order it and pay for it. China's got their hundred bucks. The U.S. imposes a 25% tariff. China ships ships it. it. Let me scroll this up so you can read along with me. Jesus Christ. All right. It's not allowed into the U.S. until the tariff is paid. It don't come off that ship. Now instead of $100, we're talking $125 total. Who pays the $125? The company that ordered the item, Walmart, right? Walmart pays, again, $125. Who do they give the money to? U.S. Customs and Border Protection. And I, again, I said, and China. China still has the original 100 didn't cost him a dime. The U.S. government receives $25. Well, let's look at this. Walmart's into that item for $125. It's got to sell it at a higher price to make money. Let me ask you this. Do you shop at Walmart? If you do, it looks like you are paying the tariff. All right? Here's what I say, buckle up, it's gonna be a bumpy ride. Here's a little postscript for you. P.S. Don't throw away your, don't throw your tea bags away, you'll be using them more than once. Overhead bottom right, let me know if my explanation helped any. You have a great day.